The right hander Zach Davies limited to six starts with that early season oblique injury and coming off a loss to the Phillies here last Tuesday. Yeah a rough loss to the Phillies went only three innings in that ball game gave up six hits he walked three batters gave up four earned runs six total runs but the most important numbers he threw 85 pitches to get through three innings of work hopefully he can get much deeper into the ball game today. Everything you need to know about the Guardians offensive problems can be summed up in this. Stephen Kwan and Ahmed Rosario are a combined nine for 18 in the series. They've combined for one run. Kwan grounds one to the shortstop. Nick Ahmed bobbles it and aboard with an air. That ball took a uh, little hop on him right before it went into his glove. You'll, do, you'll see it come up right up as he was getting ready to field it. It was a routine ball. Well, a man on. Here's Rosario now, the shortstop. And the pitch is in the air on the infield. Who wants it? Christian Walker, the first baseman, calls for it, and he'll make the catch, and there's one out. That is a huge out to get, as Rosario is 8 for 12 with a home run and two doubles against Davies in his career. Here's Jose Ramirez, switch hitter, DHing today. Diamondbacks kept him out of the hit column last night, which snapped his nine-game hitting streak. Grounds it to first, right by the diving Walker. Quan is on his way to third, being waved home, and Jose Ramirez with an RBI triple and the Guardians have struck first. Josh Naylor the hitter now with a man at third one man out Diamondbacks play the infield back here on in the opening inning. Down the right field line that's fair into the corner. Naylor has a double Ramirez will score and it's two to nothing Guardians here in the first. There's still only one out and Andre Jimenez batting fifth today Josh Bell getting a day off. Jimenez hits it out to right field for McCarthy Naylor will tag and hit for third. And he's in there with two outs. Tyler Freeman now hitting 279, three runs bounded in. He's had 12 hits this year. And that runner at third now with two outs in the inning. And a breaking ball is hit to center, but right at Corbin Carroll. He's back and makes a catch. Corbin didn't know how to read that ball, and I think it might have been knuckling not at him, but he caught it. And that's the main thing. That retires his side. Tanner Bybee coming off a rough outing in front of a lot of friends and family when he was pitching in San Diego his last time out. His family from about 100 miles north of San Diego and it didn't go well. Now he works with a 2 nothing lead. Geraldo Perdomo leads off at second. Checked his swing, bounces it to Tyler Freeman who makes a good throw to retire the batter one down. So sometimes you have a little bit of luck too. First pitch here is grounded to first, and that's fielded on the backhand by Naylor. And he'll step on the bag, and Rivera's retired for odd number two. Two up, two down here very quickly. Two nothing Cleveland, first inning, two down for Corbin Carroll. We have to really be, ex oh, the lights have uh, gone a little dark here at the ballpark. We're going to have to get this sorted, it looks like. They'll just open the roof. Interesting to see how they decide to handle this. We just get everybody in the ballpark to turn their uh, cell phone flashlights on and we point them toward before, the field. Right? Oh, there, there you go. They've been listening to your suggestion. I like it. I'm not sure that has the necessary <laughs> wattage to carry the day, but we appreciate the effort. Yeah. We'll resume play here. Corbin Carroll will come to the play with a three ball, two strike count. <laughs> Longest at bat in baseball history just ended. With a strikeout for Bybee. It's first and third here for the Guardians with one out in the second inning. And now top of the order. Stephen Kwan reached on an air and scored in the first. And now he spanks one into right center field. That'll bring home Brennan. Straw all the way to third. It goes all the way to the wall. Straw's going to score. And the Guardians now have a 4 nothing lead as Kwan has Cleveland's second triple in two innings. Cleveland trying to put this one out of reach early. Two runs into the inning with only one man out, and the batter is Rosario. Swinging a long drive to left. Back goes Gurriel, jumps and makes the catch in left center. Tagging and scoring is Kwan, and what an at-bat for Rosario. Scalded one that almost got over Gurriel in left center for extra bases. It'll go as a sack fly, RBI number 18 for Rosario. It's a three-run inning. Cleveland now leads it five to nothing. Christian's had a great homestand, four for eight in this series, with three doubles, two home runs, seven runs batted in, and four walks. Fly ball to deep left center field. Christian Walker gone. 
And the answer right back. Walker homers in consecutive games and gets the D-backs on the board. Tito had a point. He has tormented the Guardians. <laughs> That's why he's such a good manager. That's four home runs now since the eighth inning yesterday for the Diamondbacks. So a great start to the inning here, and, and the Guardians are already up 5-1. to one. But I think we've seen enough of Arizona the last two days to know that they'd love to add on here and, and really open things up. Slowly chopped up the middle. They get the out at second. They will not turn the double play. Naylor scoring, so give Quan his second RBI of the afternoon. That ball was hit not too far from that 413 sign, so it had to go a long way for Hosey, and well, he moves a runner up, but now there's two down in the inning. Josh Naylor, the batter, two for two. And it's swung on and lined into center field, a base hit. Naylor delivers again. Quan will score. And the Guardians now lead it 7-1. to one. So Nails has driven in a pair, and he's got three hits. Boy, the Boo Birds are out here in Arizona. Got to get a third out here, though, and Jimenez will be the batter with two on and two out. Swung on, and there's a high fly ball to right deep. Headed to the corner, way back there, and that ball is off the wall. Extra bases for Jimenez. One run is in, that's Rosario. Naylor's right behind him. Jimenez thought about coming all the way around, but Mike Sarbaugh holds him up at third base with a triple. This is like uh, taking frustration out on a ball club here, finishing this road trip up in style. Here's Tyler Freeman. With the men as a third and two away. He swings and slides it down that first baseline. It's a fair ball and extra bases for Freeman. Scoring on the play is Jimenez. Freeman's in with a double, and the Guardians have reached double figures. And we're only in the fourth as it's now 10 to 1 Cleveland. And now the ninth man to bat in the inning, Will Brennan steps in. And that's up the middle. That's going to fall. Will Brennan driving home Tyler Freeman to make it 11 to 1 Cleveland. Boy, you talk about getting them all at once. Now Naylor's got a perfect day going three for three at the plate after going 0 for 10 the first two games of this series. And about that, a four hit game for Josh Naylor. Steven Quad Man, coming around oh, wow. third. He's going to score, and it's 12 to 1 Cleveland. He's got to be towards the top in uh, RBIs in baseball, right? He's got to be up there. Corbin takes off. Walker hits a bullet up the line. And Carroll's on the run. Go, Corbin, go. He will score easily. Christian Walker with a two run double. Now there's something to cheer about. There you go. So Christian's knocked in three today. Boy, what a homestand he's had. He's got 48 RBIs now. He's closing in on 50. Up the middle, this should do it. There's one and two. Book it. The Guardians salvage the finale here in the desert, waxing the D-backs by a final score of 12 to 3.